Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, tonight we are continuing with our Exploring Negative Space series. And um, I think this might be the last one for a little bit because <laughs> I want to play with some other things. This is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back. I have taped the back and I have put the push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with this beautiful color. This is DecoArt Dazzling Metallics Rich Espresso. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, shimmery, deep, very sultry color, which I really, really love. And it's got some gold tones in it and some bronze tones in it, but it plays beautifully with some of the colors we're using tonight. And I'm very excited to do this one. So we're gonna use that Dazzling Metallics Rich Espresso as our negative space color and our base coat. And I have some mixed up here that is gonna be our base coat. And this one is just, it's pretty much just sinking into itself. Okay, so my pouring medium tonight is mix, mix pour. You can order mix by contacting Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Get your own mix. Let me show you the rest of my colors and we'll get started. This one, this is the one you guys have seen me use a few times now. This is, let's see, Quinacridone. Anacrodon Nicolazzo Gold with some Folk Art Treasure Gold series in Fire Opal. Beautiful. Uh, I have kept it pretty thick tonight. Such a beautiful color, my Nickel Fire Azo. <laughs> or Fire Azo Gold, that's what I was calling it. So that's the first one. The second one we are using is this beautiful one over here. This is also DecoArt. This is a DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics, and this one is Deep Sapphire. You can see on the, on the lid. So pretty. Just gorgeous. Sparkly and rich. And I think it's going to be really, really beautiful with that espresso. Okay, so then we've already talked about our rich espresso from Dazzling Metallics DecoArt. I also have my 24 karat gold. Also deco art. It's a deco art night. <laughs> Beautiful. And you do you want to keep your metallics a little thicker than everything else so that they don't get lost? If your metallics are too thin, instead of seeing ribbons of that metallic color, you're just going to see a sheen on the top of it, on the surface of everything, which is not good. Uh, next one we're using Amsterdam Naples Yellow Deep. Beautiful color. And again, I'm very excited about this one, both with the espresso and with that fire as a gold is really, really pretty. Okay, so that's our Naples Yellow from Amsterdam. And last but not least, we have Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with some of our more deco art Americana decor satin enamels in pure white. Okay. All right, so those are our colors. Let's layer it up. For a 24 by 30 inch canvas, we need about 26 ounces of paint. I want to do a straight pour tonight. That's a 16 ounce cup. So if I use a 16 ounce cup and about 10 ounces of that one, we have 26 ounces of paint. I'm not going to stress about exactly 10 ounces because I don't care about an ounce. So we're going to layer these. We're going to pour a straight pour. And uh, first we're going to put down the base coat, then we're going to pour the straight pour. Okay, so let's layer our cups first. I think I'm going to do one at a time, actually. Okay, I'm going to start with a little bit of gold. And again, I'm just going to drizzle some in off of my stick. I don't want a lot in there, just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with some of that fire as a gold. So beautiful. I'm just pouring it out of the cup. It's gorgeous. <laughs> now we're going to use our rich espresso. Very pretty. And let's go into, should we do this? Yeah, let's do our sapphire now. Keep sapphire. 
Let's put a little bit of gold on the other side of that. And we're going to use our nickel as a gold. And so it enables yellow. And then I actually want to put another layer of the nickel as a gold. And I'm put some rich espresso in there. contrast between the white and the <laughs> espresso. Amazing. Okay, some of our deep sapphire. Come back to the nickel as a gold. Some maple yellow. Another layer of the rich espresso. That's our first cup. Let's lay the second one now. Okay, put some gold in the center. And then it pulls the gold again. Sapphire. A rich espresso again. Probably pretty close to what we need, so I want a little bit more paint in there. Okay. All right, so I have painted the sides and edges, so I'm not going to even worry about putting more paint on the sides right now. Right now, I'm going to pour my paint up here and we were in Texas, <laughs> our Texas sip and pour, with Lee and Jeremy Massey were hosting Sarah Mack and Kathleen Osmore and I, and we all got to paint, paint together. And it was really, really fun and amazing. And watching Sarah paint and watching Kathleen paint was really, really educational. And Kathleen and I were talking about base coats and she said, oh honey, just watch, this is what I do. <laughs> she put something here and she poured her paint down and she just let it run. So, we're gonna try it that way tonight. I'm not gonna stress about the sides because I've already painted them and they already look good. So, okay. So we're gonna, let's see, do I want a shorter cut? Maybe we'll use this. Okay, there we go, that seems good. So there's our Rich Espresso base coat. That's much thinner than that other paint. And we're gonna pour this. Let it float down. I'm gonna make sure I cover the edge on this side though. said she just lets it sit there while she mixes her paint. Of course, I've done it backwards and mixed my paint first. <laughs> Mm. 
wonder what they're wearing on. Grab it. Maybe. Okay. Straight for? Enjoy? Yep. I've done one of those in a while. I want to do a wandering straight for, so we're going to start over here, HOA. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, coyotes? <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I am my last. I'm ready. Very good. Stretch this out now and go down towards that bottom corner. I'll walk it down the canvas and find the way to the paint. take too much more off of there. I actually want to put a marble through that now while there's still a lot of paint. Okay. Let's start like over here. Do 
this time I think I'm gonna turn it around. That's pretty. I think it needs a little bit more in there though. What do you think? Okay, that's cool. What do you think about that center section with the bright orange? Good, bad, marble? I love this part. Mm. Just don't know if I like the shape of this. And there's a little bit too much blue over here. And you're gonna try to preserve the uh, negative. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think you might wanna run marble through that bit. Let's 
I like it so far. Not to change. I like it at this point. Alright. I'm going to put a little bit of a tilt into this because I don't like this very, very straight line. So we're going to find the way to the paint. Which is up there. Better or not? I don't know if I like that better. You do or you don't? I don't know. What do you think? I do. Okay. I kind of wonder if you run a marble along the edges. I could do that. Issues. I'm not sure I like this curved and that wonky like that. Mm, and I'm not sure off. I like this either. I think I want to kind of tilt it that way and maybe take some of that edge off and maybe bring the white down a little bit. Let's see if we can do that. Okay. It's so interesting that it was blue a second ago, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. I think that looks actually really, really cool, and I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but there's a lot of really pretty metallic sheen in there. There's that pop of the Nicolazzo gold with the fire opal. There's the Naples yellow coming through. Uh, I see that beautiful sapphire blue. So I think this one is actually going to dry really, really pretty. And uh, you know, I love that rich espresso. It's such a pretty color. 
What do you think, HOA? Mm -hmm. A lot of cool stuff to look at in there. Kind of reminds me of parrots for some reason. <laughs> Parrot espresso. All right. So, well, this is pretty interesting. Um, I'm really curious to see how this is going to dry and, you know, if it doesn't work out, we'll paint over it. But this is pretty cool for right now. I am happy with how it looks. I do love these lines. I love these cells that are coming up over here in the very straight pore part. And I love what's going on in here with that really, really bright Nicolazzo gold with the fire opal. And I like that. At first, I didn't like that sapphire. But I do love it. Now, I didn't like that there was such a big blob part of it. But now I like it now that we have the Nicolazzo gold and the espresso coming through it. So it's pretty cool. All right. So I'll show you guys this one when it's dry. Thank you guys so much for being here with us tonight. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. We'll see you real soon. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is a few days later and it is dry now. Um, not my favorite. <laughs> there are parts of it that I really, really like, but overall I am not crazy about some parts. And I, even though I really do like that rich espresso color, I'm not crazy about this. So, I mean, it is, there are some parts that are very pretty. I love that, for example. And I love this part in here, but I don't love the whole thing. So this was the Nicolazzo gold, the Nicolazzo fire opal, <laughs> and that deep sapphire, which did really pretty things. That's a beautiful color. And the Naples yellow. Maybe it was the yellow that was weird. I don't know. But... I don't know. You know, I mean, there are some cool parts of it. It almost reminds me of koi fish. There are some parts I had said when we were pouring it that reminded me of a parrot. And I guess it still does. But there are some beautiful parts. I do really like this corner. And I love the straight pour in here. The marbling. Maybe there's too much marbling. I don't know. Not my favorite piece. <laughs> but I do want to show you that base coat because it is beautiful and it did turn out perfectly and it dried nice and smooth even though it was a metallic so that was a good thing as far as experiments of negative space go and uh, I just think I needed more contrasting colors rather than colors that complemented the espresso so maybe more of the blue and more of the fire opal and less of the white and less of the Naples yellow so but all in all, still an interesting experience. But I thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, let me know what you think I could have done differently to make it a little bit better. Or if you love it. So I will see you guys very, very soon. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll talk to you on Sunday. Bye-bye.